I'm going to show you what's new in DCC++ EX that's really going to make things a lot easier for you. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And in the past couple of weeks, DCC++ EX people have come out with a new way of using engine driver without JMRI, and that is with this MakerFab Wi-Fi shield that you just put up on top of your DCC++ base station. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to operate your locomotive from a web browser doing the same thing, but it doesn't need the shield. So that's two things the DCC++ EX has come out with in the past few weeks. I want to thank Fred Decker for supplying the files and the extra files that weren't included in the original uh, post that he did on Facebook. So uh, thank you very much, Fred. You'll notice on that base station that you do not have a USB connector on the Mega that I have hooked up on there. I have power going into the barrel plug. I have another set of power leads going in on the motor shield and i have two wires going over to the track now the track that i have the locomotive on is my programming track for my model railroad but it's not hooked up to the digitracks right now the digitrack system is turned off so the only thing that it is getting power to that is from the DCC++ EX base station. And I'm gonna show you how I have engine driver operating this. And there you have it all operated with engine driver right there. Now you see right here that I plugged in the USB cable to it because we're going to be using it like this. We're going to use this web browser to operate it. So all we have to do is come over to here and co connect DCC++ and we're on COM port 17 with this mega. You can see I have three megas and something else connected up to this computer. So we'll do this connect. And underneath here, I got this off screen. I'll lower that down just a little bit so you can see that. But you can see the instructions that are coming through on here. Now we're gonna go up to I don't have this program yet, so we're going to acquire number three. Power on. FO is the light. There's the bell. There's long horn, short horn. Okay, so you get the idea right there. So we're going to go over and use this throttle right here. I'm going to bring it up to eight. And that's usually where it starts out.
And this is without using JMRI. This is just a web browser. And I'll show you this right here. See, it says dcc-ex.com and then test and all that other stuff. EW browser throttle, blah, 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 blah. But and we'll just hit the reverse. And you can see it gives in instructions to go the opposite way. And then watch down here as I hit the bell. And then the horn. And if you have a, a locomotive that has a lot more sounds on it, this is just a uh, economy sound. So it just has the bell and the long and short horn but if you had more it would be be able to use all these buttons right here i'll just bring it up to right here this is an emergency stop right here and we can bring it back to well, let's go forward and we'll bring the power up a little bit. And this usually doesn't start until you get to eight, but you can increment it with the plus. Now, I'm not sure if you can adjust how many steps, but I'm going to turn this off for a second hold this off the track just to show you how far this goes up now this goes all the way up to 128 speed steps so this actually gives you the actual speed steps of the decoder so that's all there is to it there's two different ways and i'm going to show you a little bit more on how to get there in the coding but I'm not going to give too much because they don't have it finished yet. This is still in the works and the, the entire project is not finished yet. So as they come out with more and more features, they give you a teaser on the Discord server and on Facebook. So uh, I was lucky enough to be able to get the code for it to show you how to do it. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the code on here. So I'm going to bring you over to here and this is the, this is the browser. I mean, that's all it looks like right there. But what I'm going to do is bring up the readme file for the code. And basically this tells you how to hook everything up. And all you have to do is go into the configure H and set your your router name and your password this right here this is the web browser throttle but anyway it tells you all the things to do on here and it tells you what to do if you have a uno or a mega it goes you through the steps and for the uno you just have to put leave these jumpers on there and this comes with the jumpers you can see the jumpers are already in there, in that position. That's how you hook it up if you're using the Uno. If you're using a Mega, you could put, take the jumpers off and just pin them, you know, just to one pin so they're not being used. And you come over here to the other side and you put the, put the RX pin over here onto the TX pin of the Mega, which is 18, and then the TX pin of the Wi-Fi shield on the RX pin, RX1, on 19. The Mega has multiple communication ports on there, so you're using the, the 
TX and the RX1 on, on the Mega. And that's basically all you have to do. The hardest part is probably just putting your username and password in there. I'll put a three links in the description. One for the Facebook page where you can get the code. The other one is for the throttle. And the other one is for the Discord server where you can see what's going on and keep in touch with the people at DCC++ EX. So they have a lot of things going on right now. You'd be amazed. So take a look at all that. It's getting a lot better. So until the next time, we'll see you. I did this all last night and I never did that. <laughs> okay, let's go backwards. I want to let you know that uh, also you you're also going to need to know you're also going to okay, we'll just leave that part out in there. Okay, stop this